Hello students, today we are going to start another topic of our chapter Atmospheric Pressure and its Measurement. The objective of today's topic is how to measure atmospheric pressure with the help of aneroid barometer. So the topic for the day is measurement of atmospheric pressure with the help of aneroid barometer. But first of all we should know that why do we need an aneroid barometer? Students, there is a disadvantage of 14 barometer that is it is not portable. So definition of aneroid barometer, you can note this definition because it is not given in your book. Aneroid barometer is an instrument with a needle that moves when a change occurs in atmospheric pressure. Here you can see a diagram of aneroid barometer. This is the pointer which moves clockwise or anti-clockwise. If the pressure increases, this needle moves towards the right side and when pressure decreases, the needle moves towards the left side. Now open your book on page number 99, aneroid barometer. This barometer has no liquid. It is light and portable and therefore it can easily be carried from one place to another. It is calibrated. Calibrated means adjusted. So it is calibrated to read directly the atmospheric pressure. It needs no prayer adjustment like 14 barometer. Now let's see the construction of aneroid barometer again on page number 99 of your book. The main parts of aneroid barometer are as follows. Number one, a metallic box. Here you can see this is metallic box. A springy top D, this upper portion, this is springy top because it can move up and down. A thin rod L, this is a thin rod L. Wheel S, this is wheel S. A pointer P, this red color, this is the pointer. It can slide over a circular scale and this is the circular scale. Now let's read the construction of aneroid barometer. Construction figure 4.21a. This figure shows the main parts of aneroid barometer. It consists of a metallic box B which is partially evacuated. The top D of box is springy and is corrugated in form of a diaphragm as shown in figure 4.21b. Corrugated means ridged or grooved. Here you can see this D is ridged and grooved to give strength to the aneroid barometer. At the middle of the diaphragm, there is a thin rod L toothed at its upper end. Here you can see a rod L is toothed from its upper end. The teeth of rod fit well into the teeth of a wheel S attached with the pointer P, which can slide over a circular scale. The circular scale is graduated and is initially calibrated with the standard barometer so as to read the atmospheric pressure directly in terms of barometric height. Now let's see the working of aneroid barometer through a module. Aneroid barometer Aneroid barometer does not contain any liquid. Hence, it can be transported and handled easily. It consists of a metal box B, which is partially evacuated. The top surface D of the box is spring and corrugated in the form of a diaphragm. At the middle of the diaphragm, there is a thin rod L, toothed at its upper end. These teeth fit well into the teeth of the wheel S, connected with a pointer P. This pointer moves over a scale C. The circular scale is calibrated with the help of a standard barometer. Working When the atmospheric pressure increases, it presses the diaphragm D and the rod L gets depressed. The wheel rotates clockwise and the pointer P moves ahead on the scale. When the atmospheric pressure decreases, the diaphragm D bulges out. The rod L moves up and the wheel rotates anti-clockwise. Then the pointer moves in opposite direction showing lesser showing lesser pressure. 
so let's again on page number 99 we read working of aneroid barometer working when atmospheric pressure increases it presses the diaphragm d and the rod l gets depressed the wheel s rotates clockwise and pointer p moves to the right on the circular scale on the other hand when atmospheric pressure decreases the diaphragm d bulges out due to which the rod l moves up and the wheel s rotates anti clockwise consequently the pointer moves to the left thus gives the reading of atmospheric pressure now students you are able to answer the following questions like number 1 what is aneroid barometer draw a neat and label diagram to explain its construction and working here you have to draw this diagram which is given on your book figure 4.21 aneroid barometer number 2 state advantages of an aneroid barometer over a simple barometer question number 3 state one advantage of aneroid barometer over a 14 barometer that's the end of the topic thank you